All right, welcome everybody. It is Tuesday night and I hope you are ready to look at one of our new suites. Hey Susie. Uh, so if you're new, my name is Julie Brown. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator um, and I would love it if you would type in your name. Let me know you're here. Uh, also make sure if you have any questions that you type those in the comments because that's where uh, I do try to look up once in a while and see them. And I, I am kind of, just, just as a warning, I'm having another little yellow warning sign on. So hopefully I won't pause tonight. I did pause last Tuesday. So um, we've been having some major internet issues in our area. So hey, Mel, so glad you're here. So um, anyway, let me get some housekeeping out of the way. I've got a, quite a few announcements today before we get started. And I have a really... Uh, detailed card that we're doing tonight. So we're going to have to get, hey Diane, we're going to have to get started here pretty quick. So the first thing that I want to do is um, I held a Stampin' Bingo on Saturday. So let me get that up. And I had a special, oh, actually let me put it this way. For anyone who spent a certain amount of money, they are going to get this in color bundle. Um, they're only getting one of each of the vellum sheets, but they're getting some cardstock, some ribbon, some designer series paper, some in-color jewels. And so I have that up, so we're going to go ahead and spin the wheel and see who that winner is. Hey, Shanine. Um, so yeah, so that was for my Stampin' Bingo. We had lots of winners. We had tons of fun. Um, it was a really fun event, but let me switch it over. And I don't see any of them on tonight, so they're not even going to know that they won. But we're going to go ahead and spin this and see who the winner of that in-color pack is. So let's spin it and see. And it's Barb. So Barb is our winner. She was actually our big winner as well on the... Um, the way it worked was uh, we did six bingo games and then we did a seventh blackout game and whoever won the blackout game got all of the rewards from this month's uh, order. So she's by far the big winner this month. So she got that and then she now gets this in color pack. So congratulations, Barb. I'm really happy that you got that. So let's just really quick, the next announcement that I have is this, um, it's called Connect, Craft, and Collect. It is a special that Stampin' Up! is having right now um, for people who are hosting parties. And so it's pretty exciting because besides the normal um, generous Stampin' Rewards, they're going to add on a, another $25 in rewards that as the hostess you get to spend um, if your party hits a certain extent. So what I decided to do, because for most of you that know me, I have a monthly group that gets together and, um, and I don't normally host parties. And so from May 4th until um, June 14th, I am making myself available to anyone who wants to host a party and invite some friends over um, if you live in the Farmington area, you can either do that at your house or I, I am willing to open up my house to have you guys come here. And so if you want to do that and you want to invite some of your own friends and just have kind of a friend um, stamping up party where you're the hostess, um, you just need to let me know before June 14th and we'll get that scheduled. Now, here's the kicker. For anyone who does that, who hosts a party, and if you're if you're not in Farmington, I'm willing to do an online party for you just as well, um, and we'll do it that way. But for anyone who does do that for me, um, your name is going to go into a drawing, and you can win one of the new die cut machines. Are you excited? I'm excited. So yeah, so it's just you invite your friends. You can if you're here in Farmington, you can have it at my house. You can have it at your house. I'll come to you if you're online or you're not in the area. You can have an online hostess party as well. Um, and again, you have to make that minimum sales, which is the 150. And if your party makes that minimum 150 in sales, then your name will go into a drawing for a new die cut machine. So exciting news, right? 
guys, I haven't done this in a long time where I go out and host parties, but I felt bad because they're running this from May until June. And so if I just do it with my group, there's only going to be two hostesses and no one else is going to get the opportunity. So I thought I would open that up. So if you guys are interested, let me know about that. All right. Okay. So now let's talk about what we're doing or what we're working with tonight. So we are going to be working with the In the Wild Suite tonight. Um, you know, and the reason I picked this suite is because I kind of think that you sometimes look at this and you look at the paper and you think, what am I going to do with this? And so I really wanted to show you the versatility of this suite. But let's talk about what comes in the suite. So you get the Wildcat stamp set and there's 15 of these. Um, let me move this out of the way. Sorry. There's 15 of these, uh, 15 stamps in this set, and then it comes with the Big Cat dies, which it cuts out this flower, it cuts out this tiger, this, or whatever you make it, leopard tiger. It cuts out this fern here, um, it cuts out these little leaves here, and then it has a few standalone dies as well. And then it also comes with an animal print embossing folder. So that's all part of the suite. Now you guys know you can order any of it separate. That's fine. Let me put this back up just so you know. Um, it is on page 45 of your annual catalog. And hopefully all of you guys have gotten your catalogs. Crossing my fingers here. Alrighty. So let's look at this. And I want to show you the paper really quick. Um, and so it's all two double-sided paper. So you've got this side and then here's the other side and then this paper This is the other side this paper This is the other side <laughs> This paper and the dies do cut out the walking ones and this sitting one here The ones that are laying down and the one that's turned like this you have to fussy cut those out and then it has the leopard print, and then it has the cheetahs, and then the leopard print there, and then another cheetah, and then this print here. So that's the paper, Lot, uh, lots of fun ideas, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a card for you tonight, and then I will show you the other cards that I had set up for my Stampin' Bingo so that you guys will be able to see that. Okay, so let's talk about what all you're gonna need to make the card that we're making tonight. I am starting with a Mary Merlot base, and it is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I actually have three four by five and a quarter white pieces. Okay. And then I have, here's that designer series paper. It's that color on one side, but we're using this side. This one is going to be four by five and a quarter. And then we're doing an evening evergreen. This is one of the new colors, new in colors. And this one is three and a half by four and three quarters. Let's see if I can get some more light over here. And then we're using, this is another one of the new greens, soft succulent. And this one is three and a quarter by four and a half. And then you need a little scrap piece that is about two and a half by three of the evening evergreen. And then we need a crushed curry piece that is one and a half by three. Another evening evergreen that is um, three quarters by three and three quarters. And then a white strip that is a half by three and a quarter. All right, so eventually this will be up on my blog and I'll show you all that information at the end. Um, so you'll be able to go there and uh, get all of those um, dimensions again. So we're gonna start with stamping because we're gonna need to stamp on a couple of these Whisper White pieces. So let me grab the stamp set. Let me see if I can bring the lights in and get them so that it's got a little more light here. All right. So the first thing that we're going to stamp is the large walking cat. <laughs> and I'm actually going to ink this cat up in 
crushed curry ink. Now the cool thing about this set is that you can make leopards or you can make um, tigers. And I'm sure someone will come up with a way to make a different cat, but um, and I'll show you, that uh, if I've got enough time, I'll show you both how you do both. Or I'll, I, I've got a card where I did both. So it is two-step stamping, and that just means you have a base one. So this is our base one. And then we're going to put some stuff on top to make it, um, to put the design on the, and I'm making tigers tonight. We're doing tigers clean that off and then you'll notice in the stamp set it's got two heads to the tigers there's a tiger head and then there's a leopard head now even though this head is turned a, a different way um, both of these heads fit on both of these cats when you're sta stamping same way with the tiger stripes you can see it's the same direction as the cat that's sitting but I'm going to show you how it also fits on this one right here and then this is the one that you use to put the spots on the leopard, just so you guys know. So I'm going to bring out the tiger stripes. And we're going to get that on a block. And then I'm going to bring in Cajun Craze to put on the stripes for the tiger. And I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to, let me see if I can get this a little bit closer for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. And I'm just gonna kinda look where I want it and then just push down my stamp. All right, and that puts the stripes. Now you could get it on the legs if you wanted to. Um, I didn't really want it because I'm gonna be hiding a lot of the legs um, in the layout. So I wasn't really concerned about the legs, but you can get it to go on the legs as well. All right, so now I need the tiger head. So I'm gonna bring that one out and then we're gonna put that on our little A block here. And sometimes it's kind of hard to see like the, um, where the face is until you ink it up. And cause so like if you look at it here, it's kind of hard to see, but then when you ink it up and you look through the block, you can see the eyes, the nose, and all of that. So, okay, so then we're going to take this and try to get that lined up. It's a lot harder for me to line up when I'm doing it for you guys. All right, so then there's the face. So there's your tiger. Isn't that fun? Here, kitty, kitty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some stamping with some of these other stamps that are in this set because I'm I'm basically going to be making a jungle that this uh, tiger is going to be walking through, and so I like this little fern looking flower. So I'm going to. Since I've got the Cajun craze out, I'm just going to do um, a couple of these. And if you want like different colored textures, remember, so I just inked it up, but if I, if I stamp off and then come in with it, it's the same color, but it's a little bit lighter shade. So it does help you to get some different colors just using, you know, like one stamp, one stamp pad but I'm gonna actually be using quite a few colors, so. All right, so that's what I needed from the Cajun Craze. And then I wanna bring in the Mary Merlot and do some um, with the Mary Merlot. And I'm just trying to place this so that it, um, I'll be able to cut it out with a die but trying to get as much as I can on each of these pages. All right, and so I just, I think I just need two of those. I've got two of the Cajun Craze, and then I'm going to come in with the Soft Succulent, which is one of our new in colors, 
and if for anyone who knows me you guys know I love green it's like my favorite color so as you can imagine I was so excited when I saw two greens in our new in colors I was pretty pretty psyched about that okay so here's the soft succulent we're gonna stamp that and then we're gonna stamp it again and I apologize you guys are gonna have to watch me stamp and cut out tonight um, Wes usually gets home early and watches my grandkids while I finish doing my prep but he was a little under the weather tonight so um, I had to wait for my daughter to get here and so that took a little bit longer for her to get off work so this is the evening evergreen and then I'm going to oops I'm stamping where you guys can't see me oh did it pause oh sometimes if I switch and go back it'll quit pausing so let's see okay so we should be good I apologize if that paused for a second I think I'm still pausing. Let me see if I can get this to work a little bit better tonight. There we go. Let's see if that's going to work. I'm telling you, sometimes computers, like I said, this area has really had some issues with the internet. So let's go back and see if that's going to work. Let me work with this. Oh. Okay, one second. I see my problem. So I apologize, my phone, let's see, was unplugged, and so let's see if it's going to work. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let me see if I can... My phone is having some issues here, so let me see if I can work with that a little bit. I apologize. Let's see. Trying to see if I can get it to say that it's plugged. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. All right, let's do a little finagling here. See if this will work. Okay, so we should be okay. Now, let's see. Yes, here we go. Oh my goodness. Craziness. I'm so glad you guys are patient with me because <laughs> I think it's because we've all had computer problems. Okay, so I did the soft succulent and the evening evergreen, and now I'm going to bring in the crushed curry, and we're going to stamp that one. Whoops, that was not good because I needed that spot. <laughs> And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this long fern. Let me get that cleaned off. So we've got a long fern right here that I'm going to be using. And this we're going to do an evening evergreen. So we're going to bring back in the evening evergreen. And so I think I'm going to do 
like four of these. All right, so I hope everybody's had time to look at their books. Um, so um, has anyone got placed an order and gotten their orders in and are you playing with any of the new product yet? And then again, I wanna make sure everybody has, everyone that's on here um, should have gotten a catalog from me. If you don't have it, uh, you need to put it in the comments and let me know so I can make sure you get a catalog. I do it through the Stampin' Up! system and sometimes some people get it and some people don't. And so it's really weird how that works. So let me just go back out as I bring in the die cut machine. And this is what's, what someone could win if they host a party between May 4th to June 15th. So think about it, ladies. All right, so now we're gonna bring this in and we're gonna start doing some die cutting. We're gonna use some standalone ones too. So these little pieces that I had of the evening evergreen and the crushed curry, we're actually gonna be cutting this little fern right here out. Okay, but I can, there's only one, so I can only do one at a time. So let's pull that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut the cat. Oh, great, Diane. So you started a list. Yeah, we need to get together and um, I can help you with that. Because it can get a little overwhelming when you first get started on what to order. Um, it can get overwhelming for us that have been in it for a while. <laughs> so, just so you know, because there's just not sure what to start with and where to start. But I'll definitely get with you and we'll get that, get you started. I saw all your beautiful pictures. Uh, those bears are beautiful. Diane and her husband, um, is it in Yellowstone that you guys uh, go, Diane? I believe they're up in Yellowstone and they take some of the most gorgeous pictures of wildlife up there. And um, they, she, she took one of a badger that was so cool. And then she also got a picture of uh, some grizzly bears and a fox and um, that I've seen. She, I'm sure she's taken more, but those are the pictures that I've seen. And one of the grizzly bears is like a, I don't, what, what's the color that you, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, she goes to Yellowstone and the Tetons. And w anyway, one of the grizzly bears is a uh, like a lighter color. It's like an, um, oh, I can't remember what you guys were calling it, but um, she's so pretty, but she's one of the younger, she's with still with her mom, um, but she's still, I mean, she's big, but she's with her mom, but she's so, so oh, blonde. Yes, blonde. I thought they called it a different name, but she, so her fur is like a blonde color and she's so, so pretty. Um, but anyway, Diane, I'm enjoying um, your, <laughs> your pictures of all the beautiful wildlife that you guys get to see. So just so you know that people are paying attention and watching the pictures that you're doing. But uh, yeah, they're, they're pretty amazing. I, I think all of your guys' pictures should be in catalogs and magazines. Okay, so Susie, you did get your order in, um, but you've been working on some older things, and so you haven't quite gotten to play with your new stuff yet. So, understandable, understandable. So, okay, so again, I'm just going to be cutting here for just a little bit, and then once this is all cut, the card actually goes together pretty quick. So, I'm going to, because I have this fern too, I'll be able to at least get two things cut at the same time here. All right, so let's put this through. 
so. So any, anyone else doing anything really exciting? Like I said, I, I, I already told on Diane, so she can't share <laughs> what, what they're doing right now. So um, is everyone happy that the weather's getting warmer? And of course, it was warm here today, but then dang it, we got the wind to go along with it, which was not fun. But, you know, I guess that's, that's the, you know, spring, springtime, it gets a little bit windy. Lately here in Farmington, we've kind of gone from winter to, uh, I know last year we didn't have much of a spring because it was, we had spring weather for just a little bit and then it got hot, so... I'm not sure what's going to happen this year, if the same thing's going to happen, or if we're going to end up getting getting an actual spring where it stays, you know, nice in that nice temperature area for us. <laughs> Mel, you don't miss the wind? What? So do you not get much, much wind up in Washington then? Mel's a friend of mine. A lot, some of you guys knew her. She was part of my Stampin' Up group. And um, when her and I used to go to retreats together and we were rooming buddies. And she recently moved up to Washington. So I'm assuming since she says she doesn't miss the wind that that means it is not windy up in Washington. Must be nice. You know, I wouldn't mind the wind if I was living like on a beach, <laughs> right? Where it's the the breeze that's coming in from the ocean. That would probably be good. But here when it blows, it just, it blows, you know, we're here in New Mexico and it's de desert and it blows dirt everywhere. So... So it's not as much fun as if I was sitting on a beach with the nice breeze coming in. Right? That that would that would be bearable. All right, I'm just going to put this in here. Okay. So now that I've cut all those pieces, I have these little trays that I keep them in, so I have all my pieces here. So now we're going to start building our card. And so Again, I really like this set. Of course, I love wildlife, and um, so this set really spoke to me. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that you can make some really pretty cards for, you know, anyone who's an animal lover would love any of these cards um, that you make with uh, the ones that have animals. And, and this one especially because all of the colors in this... Um, are kind of a more what I would call the regal regal colors that are in our Stampin' Up, um, even though a lot of them are the in colors. But with the regal colors, then they tend to be a little bit more masculine as well. So this would be a really good set to do some masculine cards. So we're going to put that designer series paper down first. Then we're going to come in with that evening evergreen, and we're going to mat that on there. And I'm just using my Stampin' Seal to put this on. <laughs> and it is, it, it's working good because it is sticking to my hands. During our Stampin' Bingo, the girls were talking about how they kept get the, as they were uh, stamping and, and making some of the cards that we made, that um, they were talking about how their hands always get either glue on them or ink on them, and I'm the same way. I know there's some demonstrators out there that don't, and I'm not quite sure how they've managed not to do that. Okay, so with this piece, we're going to actually start building our scene. So I'm going to move this to the side, um, and we're going to actually kind of start building our scene on this one. And I am going to use liquid glue now, and the reason being is I may want to do some shifting um, and moving and so and the other thing I'm going to bring in is my silicone mat because I'm going to be hanging some of this off 
and there may be glue on it, and so it's easier to clean the glue off of this than if it gets stuck on the paper. So I'm just going to come in and just, um, you know, get some glue on this. And, and I am going to be hanging this off because we're going to be trimming some of this later. So we're going to stick this one in like so, but I'm not pushing down real hard because I am going to be coming in and sticking some stuff behind that one. Again, the reason that I like using the, the liquid glue, um, because it allows me to, it allows me a little bit of time, I guess I should say. Okay, so the next one I think I'm going to bring in actually is the, I want the crushed curry one. Where's that one? I only did one of these. So I'm going to bring in the crushed curry. And I'm going to overlap it. So I'm trying to cover all of this down here at the bottom. So I'll overlap it. Again, I'm not pushing it completely down yet. And then I'm going to come in with the um, soft succulent. And this one, again, I'm going to kind of squish it up underneath um, this crushed curry one. So I'm basically just kind of layering all of this in here. And I may pull this out a little bit more. This is what I was talking about as, do, as I'm adjusting and looking at like how I want this to lay. And then I'm gonna come in with um, the Cajun Craze. And we're gonna stick that one like so. And maybe try to bring it up a little bit just so, or maybe down a little bit. I want these kind of at different levels so it doesn't all look like it's straight across. And then I'm gonna come back in with my other soft succulent. And again, we're gonna get this corner over here covered. And then I'm gonna come in with my other Mary Merlot right here. And again, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna kinda bring it in and it's gonna go underneath these two here. But do you see now why I'm using that liquid glue? Cause it allows me that, that wiggle room. Okay, so that's gonna go in like that. And then I'm going to come in with my other Cajun Craze. And it is going to fit down between these guys. And again, I'm not pushing it down hard because I've still got to get my tiger in here as well and some of these other pieces. And this is that evening evergreen and it's the darkest one. And so I kind of wanted that in this center spot here. So we're gonna pull that up and just kind of shove that down like so. All right. Then what I'm going to do is we're going to bring our tiger in next so that we can start building kind of around our tiger. Again, I'm just using liquid glue. So we're going to bring our tiger in. And again, I want the tiger to look like he's kind of walking in the jungle. You know how they are. They try to hide before they pounce. <laughs> And then I'm going to bring in these little ferns. And the nice thing about these ferns is you could take these ferns and have them hanging down if I had a bigger piece. Um, and this could be like the tops of the trees that you're seeing or like the, you know, the trees are folding over and you're seeing these little pieces off the tree. So I'm going to take this little fern and we're going to stick it like so. 
and then we're going to uh, bring in another fern. Hopefully this hasn't dried over here. Nope, yay. Okay, and this one's gonna come in. It's gotta be under there, like so. And I did four of these, but you know, sometimes you don't use everything that you cut out. And if that's the case, then I, I always just put mine in a case and, and keep them for later when I'm making possibly another one of these cards uh, and do it that way. So that one kind of, I didn't want that quite that high, but it looks all right. So we're, we're okay. Trying to see if I wanna stick this one down, if I want it coming up. Nope, I think that's good. Okay. So then we've got this put together like so. Now I'm going to push everything down um, and let it glue in place. And it's actually okay if you, you know, bring some of these up. Oh, I forgot these other little ones, but I think I waited, yeah. I waited until I put my sentiment on. So then all I'm gonna do is turn this over and bring in my paper snips. And then I'm just gonna cut everything that basically is off the off this little mat so I'm just going and I'm just trying to stay as close to my mat as possible and then just cut Now, I will tell you this, and, and I'm actually going to show you this if I have that stuff here, because it's really important that you keep all of your tools cleaned. And so what I'm going to do, because I um, cut that and it had glue on it, I'm going to take a little pad here with some, um, that's alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to clean my scissors with that. And that's a good way to stop the gook from the glue from dulling your scissors. So just a little tip there. Um, and it's kind of important to do that, you know, as soon as you've finished, just so that you can, you know, just like anything, if the glue dries, it's a lot harder to get off. All right. And this, I can, this, because I got some glue on this, these silicone sheets. So Diane, this is definitely something I would put on your list, these silicone sheets, because I use them for everything. Um, so you just get, get a baby wipe and just clean that off. And then I'll set it to the side and let that dry off a little bit. All right, so let's bring it back, our card back in. And I'm not using dimensionals tonight because I'm putting so much on here that it already gives it dimension. So it's already going to give it a really nice dimensional look without using the, the pop-ups or the dimensionals. Okay, so I'm just going to take that. And then we're going to stick that on here like so. Whoops, that totally moved on me. It's because I have glue on my hands and it's trying to stick to me. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and layer that like so. This is where my sentiment is gonna end up going. Because there's so many layers here, again, I'm gonna use liquid glue instead of the um, the stamp and seal uh, just because it it's gonna hold a little bit better so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna actually stick that so that just the bottom edge shows but before I give it time to dry remember these little ferns that I cut out so now I'm gonna come in with these little ferns And I only cut one out showing you guys, but I had some, th this is one of the things I had some sitting um, and ready to go. So I'm gonna stick that one like so. And 
then we're gonna take the I did I did it in evening evergreen and crushed curry and this one's just gonna kind of stick like so and I'll show this to, I'll, I'll show it to you closer when I get it all on here but this is just kind of really I'm really enjoying this set because it's just really giving me an opportunity to be creative and create this little jungle for my tiger um, and I really enjoy doing that so this is kind of a fun set to get to play with this is definitely one that you know you might want to sit one night while you're watching TV or listening to talks or listening to a book on tape and and cut some of these die cuts out and you know stamp them and cut them out so that you have them available all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my um, and I usually don't stamp on something this small I usually leave it a little bit bigger just in case I mess up but we're going to see if I can manage to pull this one out tonight and get it stamped straight so I'm going to come back in with the Mary Merlot and this is the stamp that says have a wild birthday so really cute little saying for this stamp set And let's see if I can get it straight. Everyone keep your fingers crossed. Yay! Well, it's somewhat straight. Let's see. It'll look okay. All right. As you guys can tell, I'm not a perfectionist. So it'll, it'll work fine. And then this one, you can use your stamp and seal. And just run that down like so. And then stick that on the inside, or on the inside. Um, just center that on this strip. Like so. And then for the inside of the card, I actually used a different stamp set. And I'm trying to remember which one I used because you guys know I love sentiment stamp sets. And I did use a sentiment one. And I'm trying to remember which one it was. So hold on one second. Um, hmm. All right, let's see. I believe it was the best year. And now I've got it. There it is. Okay. Yeah. So this is one of the new sentiment stamp sets, and it's called the best year. And it has thank you, happy Father's Day, happy birthday, um, dad, warm wishes, um, happy Christmas. So I really like this one. So I'm going to use this stamp out of it that says, Wishing You Your Best Year Yet. Because I think that goes along really well with this card. But for the inside, um, I want to bring our tiger back in. And he's just going to kind of be walking onto the page. So here's our tiger. And so I'm going to bring him in so that his two front feet are in. And then again, we got to put those stripes on him and put his little face on. So, you know, and the one thing that I don't do a lot of that um, is really fun to do, and this would be a fun one to do, is to also, you know, stamp on your envelope. Um, I don't know why I don't do that. I just, it's probably something I need to work on and get better at doing um, because it's always fun to decorate the envelopes as well. I mean, you know, we have all of this stamp stuff. We might as well use it, right? All right, so we're going to bring this in about right there. Stick that down so he's got his stripes. 
And then we got to bring his little face back in and put his face on. A <laughs> face on. Sounds like I'm putting makeup on the tiger. <laughs> All right. Whoopsies. Okay. So then we're going to, oh, I don't know why I shut that Cajun craze because I still need that. So again, I'm going to try to get this lined up. It's a lot easier to see when I can kind of get my head over <laughs> what I'm doing. But when I'm doing these classes, I'm kind of, I don't really want to stick my head in the middle of what you're watching. So I try not to lean in too much. Okay, so now we're going to take this wishing you your best year yet. And this is a... Um, cling stamp set which means it's the red rubber and of course the wildcat set is the um, po uh, photo polymer all right so we're going to bring this in and again we're going to use that mary merlot mary merlot's a color that i think is not used enough because it's such a pretty color and i just don't think we use it enough Alrighty, so then I'm just going to bring this in here, and let's hope this is straight. Alrighty, wishing you your best year yet. Yay! Yeah, um, I'm, I'm in love with a ton of the sentiment stamps um, in the new catalog. But you, you guys need to take the time to go through that catalog and read those sentiment stamps, because there's some really cute sayings. Um, that like this one, hip, hip, hooray. Um, I, you know, I really like that in this one. And of course, you know, happy father's day and, um, you did it. And I'm, you're going to see, I use these two on another one of these, um, tiger cards. Okay. So there's my front. So let's get this on the inside. And then as soon as I'm done with this card, I'm going to bring in, um, I think I did three other cards, and I'll show them to you. Uh, not show you how I did them, but just show you the versatility of this set. All right, so let's move on to this. All right, so there's our card. So what do you guys think? Isn't that beautiful? So it says, have a wild birthday. And look at that, we created that, you know, by just stamping and cutting out using the dies. And then on the inside, here comes our little tiger again, wishing you your best year yet. Oh, Patty, you've been having frozen drizzle, snow, rain, and wind. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. So what do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? All right, so let me grab my other cards that I did with this set. And you would think I could find them quickly, but that never happens. Oh my gosh, what did I do with them? All right, now that's going to freak me out because I had all of my cards. Oh, <laughs> I found them. Okay, so there's this one. Then I did kind of the same thing, but remember that paper that I showed you? So this one, I did a kind of a monochrome, uh, I don't know, anyway, using all greens. And these two cats were actually on that paper, and I used the die cut to cut this one out, and then I fussy cut this one out. And this is where I used that same stamp set, The Best Year. And I put, you did it, and then of course, the this is from the cat. And then on the inside, hip, hip, hooray with the little tiger stripes. So there's another one. So there's that one. And then I came in and I wanted to use the cheetah. And so I used the, um, I used this stamp here. And I just, I, I stamped all of this and made that background. And there's our little cheetah. And then I use the um, layering circles for this. And it says, thanks, you're the beast. 
right? And then on the inside, again, I have these here, and it's for all the little things you do and for your big heart. Okay, so there's that one. And again, I did bring in some different sentiment stamp sets with these, but I just kind of wanted to show you the versatility of um, this stamp set. And I'm actually missing one of my cards. Where the heck did that other card go? Okay, well, let me show you this one because this card, and hopefully you guys can see it, I actually use, see the embossed, the animal embossing on, that's that embossing folder, put that print on the back. And then I just used some scrap pieces of paper, and this one I made, it's the same um, image, but I used those spots and made this one into a leopard. And then this is one of the die cuts in that kit. And this one says, you are fierce. And again, I put him back here and have a wild birthday. Okay, so those are just like four cards that I made up using this set. And I've got tons of ideas for other cards um, for this same set. But I just wanted to show you how, you know, this one is very flowery and can be for a woman. You know, these are more masculine. But if you've got people that like wildlife, um, you know, these are, these are perfect cards and these were all, I mean, the one I showed you tonight was the most extensive to do. Um, but again, it wasn't that hard. You guys watched me do it. It wasn't that hard to do. So here's that suite again. If you guys want to check it out on page 45 of the annual catalog, um, that's the, that is that suite. And then just really quick, I'm going to um, just put some stuff up there. So if you're going to place an order with me, that is the hostess code for this month. Um, you would go to juliebrown.stampinup.net. And, of course, if you want to join and be part of my team, same thing. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, Patty. Now you have to purchase this set. <laughs> oh, no. You would have never purchased this set. Yeah, and that's why I show you guys this, so you can see the potential of this set. Um, don't forget, if you need to get in touch with me, you can email me at juliescreativestampin' at gmail.com. Guys, please, please, please support me on my Pinterest and Facebook pages. Um, I also, this video will also be up on my YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe to that. Um, you know, follow me on my blog and my Pinterest and my Facebook page because this is what happens and I don't think everybody's aware of that. But if you guys like what I do and you like my cards, um, when I put them on Pinterest and I put them on my blog and I put them on Instagram, um, the more people that like or follow or um, subscribe to my channels, then when you go in to search for them, those are the good, they're going to actually be the ones that come up quicker. Um, and that's just kind of how they're all set up to do. So, um, anyway, I would love it if you guys would follow me on all of my different pages and, um, sites, um, cause it does really help me get out there and get my card seen. Um, cause you know, you guys might miss a card that I actually put in. So I'm going to do one more quick look at this and, you know, and Patty, I agree with you. This was not a set that I was really, um, like super excited about cause I wasn't sure about the paper. Wasn't sure about what kind of cards I would make with it, but look at the cards. They're so fun, you know, and like I said, I made my own little jungle. And then, like I said, you know, if I had had more room, oh, and I don't know if I told you. So on this card, I used that tiger stripe and I stamped that to, to create that background there. So fun, 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 right? And I love this embossing folder on this one. It's so pretty. But anyway, so I'm going to, you know, challenge you guys that if any of you guys do get this set, you know what, send me pictures because I would love to post them on my site and show everybody, you know, the potential of all of these different cards. You got, we're all here to help each other. And, you know, I, I tried my hardest to show you guys potentials of different stamp sets because I'm trying to give you guys the best knowledge that you can have to, um, you know, make a purchase of something that uh, maybe you didn't see the, the potential of it in the beginning, but now you're thinking of all these people that you can make these cards for. So 
Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tonight. I loved making these cards. I had just a ton of fun um, designing and making them, and I hope you guys enjoyed it all tonight. And I will be back next Tuesday looking at a new suite. Um, and guys, make sure you go to my blog because I'm I am I've I made gosh probably 20 cards for that stamp and bingo. And so this whole week I'm going to be posting new cards to my blog. And let me pull that up real quick. That is the one at the bottom, stampinjuliebrown.blogspot.com. There you're going to start seeing them show up there. Um, and, uh, like I said, because I can't, I don't always get to do videos for all of my cards. So the ones that I don't do videos on are always, always posted on my blog. Um, and they go to my blog first, then Pinterest, then Instagram and all the other ones. So always check out my blog. That's the best way to find what I'm up to. <laughs> right. Um, and anyway, and Diane, if you need to get in touch with me, just either email me or you can message me and we'll get in, I'll get with you and we can, I can help you with, um, you know, things to start with. So guys, I appreciate your time tonight and I hope everybody has a good rest of the week and I hope you can't wait till next Tuesday to see what I'm going to be up to then. So everybody have a good night. Talk to you soon. Bye.